Okay, we're back. We are ready to flow a mass airflow sensor. As in the last video, same setup. We have the rig set up here. This is a frequency base MAF. Uh, we have a frequency counter here and 0.48 kilohertz is sort of the uh, no flow frequency is coming out. So uh, we're going to pull some air through it and with the laminar flow element we can see the inches of water that's dropped across it with zero. Well, of course, there's no pressure drop because there's no flow going across it. So we're going to introduce a flow. Motors are ready. What we do with the very act was we basically ramp it up. You start to hear the motors come up very slow. Across the laminar flow element, we get the inches of water. This is 1.88. Actually, it's climbing a little bit. Um, you know, it's pretty stable. Uh, the vacuum source, even at low speeds, pretty stable. No averaging going on here. Um, so pretty good setup. I'm going to look over here, and we can see the mass airflow, given an instantaneous frequency. We'll turn up the gating a little bit to make it more of an average here. And 3.39, 3.4 kilohertz. So, perform a test, you basically ramp up the motors, get a uh, pressure drop here in inches of water, do the conversion to grams per second, and you can walk over here and look at the frequency. Right now it's kind of a manual process, but once you've flown a mass airflow sensor, you've done it a couple of times with a representative set, uh, you pretty much have the curve for that model. I'm going to ramp it up some more. Okay, again, inches of water. And we're about pegging out the laminar flow element here. And that's okay, because I've got other laminar flow elements here. This one here will go up to... 400 CFM at 8 inches of water, and I've got smaller ones here as well. So the collection of laminar flow elements, I'm able to swap out the range I need. And 7.12 inches of water, here's your frequency reading. And like I said, we can just keep going up. As you increase the flow past 8 inches of water, the laminar flow element's no longer accurate. However, it's fun to ramp it up. See how much air we actually can pull through. All right, pull more. Thirty inches of water. Totally not linear, not accurate, but it shows you. idle this down really low here, really low flow. The nice thing about the setup is we can get very, very low flows, uh, and you can see by indicated by the, the inches of water here. And it's very, very stable. Drop it, drop it down even a little bit more. And even a little bit more. And that's low. And we're almost back to our resting flow number here. That gives you an idea how the thing works.